In the last video, I showed you how to quickly install several, even thousands of fonts at once by using a simple drag and drop. And also in that video, we went over how to categorize our fonts or, or place them all in one folder and how to zip up that file so we can back it up to the cloud and to a local hard drive. In this video, I wanna show you another way you can install several fonts at once. So let's go ahead and get started. Now first I've come back to 1001fonts.com, downloaded several more fonts just to uh, show off a couple more ways we can extract our fonts. So here, I'll just choose a couple uh, of different font files here. And just like in the last video, we can right click and we can use WinRare. Now I went ahead and installed 7-Zip just to uh, show this. Now a 7-Zip, if we did extract here, which is what you want to choose to extract the files directly into the containing folder, so in this case, downloads, now, a lot of these are going to have readme.txt, so they're going to be doubled up and we can't have files named you know, exactly the same thing. So I suggest you just choose yes to all because you really don't need those readme files. And as long as you choose 7-zip and extract here, as you can see, it extracts those files, the files that are in here, okay, extracts them into the containing folder and it completely exposes them. So they're right here and really easy to find. All right, let me delete these. To show you the other option you had. So if I were to choose these again, right click, go to 7-zip, and went to extract to with that slash, that is going to place those uh, text files, those font files, in separate folders. So now I'd have to dig into the folder to get to the font and then create a new folder, just as we did last time, say called fonts, uh, name it fonts one, because we already have fonts there, and then take this and drag it in here so we have all of our fonts in one folder. Okay, so another option you have to search for your, for your fonts is to uh, realize there are uh, font files. There's true type, as you can see, these here are true type fonts. And I mean, there's more than two, but these are these will be the two you're going to be dealing with. So there's true type and there's also open type fonts. So another way, to, if you happen to, again, come here to your zip folders, right click, go to seven zip, and you go to extract two with that slash and you get different folders, okay? Instead of popping into each folder to move them over to one folder, you can use your search function here and type dot ttf, and that will search for all of the true type fonts. And you can easily just grab those and drag them right into your fonts folder. So then you can have everything in one folder. Okay, another thing you can do, as you can see, we have all these zipped files here. Now these zipped files contain more true type fonts. So Again, we can select all of these, right click, 7-zip, and then we could choose Extract 2, uh, which again would extract that to separate folders, or we can go to Extract here, and they will be completely exposed. So we'll just go Extract here, yes to all. Now all of those will be completely exposed. We'll just cancel out of this. You can see right here in our Downloads folder, all of those files are completely exposed. Now the other type of font file you'll probably be searching for is dot. OTF, so open type fonts. As you can see, same thing here. We have open type fonts in these folders. So you could extract those and then, you know, say right click and seven zip and just extract here. There we go. We'll just clear out of this. And we should have all of those files exposed. All right, so that's how you can quickly expose your files uh, using that filter function with OTF or .ttf, and how you can quickly extract several files at once just by selecting them, right clicking, and make sure you have 7-zip installed or WinRare, which that'll work too, uh, but 7-zip is free, and use extract here or extract to with the slash if you want them in separate folders, okay? So once you have all of your font files into one folder, which is, you don't have to, but I prefer to have everything in one folder. So once you have everything in one folder, just open that folder, and just as we did last time, I'll do it with this, with uh, what we used last time, just because it's, you know, it's a little more impressive because there's 1600 files in here. Okay, so again, we can just control A to select everything. And remember last time we dragged in our fonts into our font panel, into our font uh, installation location, which is a control panel, all control panel items and fonts. And you remember that we just took all of these files and we just dragged them right in. Really, really easy to do. And I think it's very important that you actually know where your fonts are because once you get everything installed, instead of doing it the way that we did it, where we put all of our, our fonts in a folder first and then just drag them in, if you are installing the fonts from you know a location like 
downloads and you're just using your your uh, search function, your OTF files or your TTF files or whatever, or you're installing them, you know, say directly from here. Once everything's installed, you know, you need to know where they're installed to because then you could just come into this folder, hit control A, and then drag all that into a different font folder and zip that up. That's another way to back up too. But I think it's very important that you actually know where fonts are installed. But another way to install the fonts besides dragging them in after you select them is to right click and choose install. Now I can't do this here because if as long as you watch the last video, you know we've we've already installed these. So if I hit install, I'm going to get a bunch of uh, errors because all of these fonts are already installed. I'm just gonna hit stop. And uh, we'll try with this here. I might have some fonts in here that haven't been installed. So I'll just hit control A to select everything, right click and choose install instead of dragging them in like we did last time. You can, again, select everything or just hit control A, right click your selection and choose install. Again, I already have some of these fonts in there. I'll just hit yes. And it's gonna grab a few of those and install them. And there we go. Now those fonts are installed. Okay, so this is just a follow-up video to the last font video on how to install several fonts, multiple fonts, hundreds, thousands of fonts at once, and how you can uh, you know, quickly use your search function. Uh, you could even say search from your C drive if you have fonts all over the place. Search for OTF. It's going to take substantially longer since we're searching a whole drive, but uh, you could do that as well. So just remember those tips about wherever you download your fonts to, you can use that search function. Uh, remember the tip about using either WinRare or 7-Zip and selecting all of your fonts at once, right-clicking and extracting all of them at once. And then of course you can use that search function to narrow down your search or just what I prefer to do is go ahead and grab everything first, throw it into its own font file. And then from there, it's really up to you. Uh, you can just control A and drag them in to the font folder, or you can you know, select them all, right click and choose install. Up to you, but those are two options and a few tips on installing a lot of fonts, multiple fonts, thousands of fonts all at one time on Windows 10.